Hi everyone, so I'm here today to talk about the book Wake, which I'm really excited to talk about. So this book is by Lisa McMahon, and it's about Janie, a 17-year-old girl who has a magical ability. Really, it's more of a hindrance for her, um, but first of all, I want to talk about the book cover. So I didn't really like the book cover. It has this quote on it, your dreams are not your own. It kind of turned me off the book, um, but I read the description in the back and I really enjoyed it. Obviously this is a library copy, generally I buy my own books, but in this case, lately I've been really getting into getting library books, so I was really excited to find this one. Now the main characters, obviously Janie is the main one, and then you have friends of hers and you, she doesn't have a lot to be honest. And then she has a love interest in the book, but I'm not going to spoil it because it's a little bit of a surprise, although you'll figure it out pretty soon. Um, I really like the characters. I mean, obviously they weren't completely developed, but uh, there's more than one book in the series. I know for sure there's two, so I'm really excited for the second one. Uh, and maybe the characters will be more developed then. Um, it's not a huge book, so... It also makes sense why they weren't completely developed, but the characters are really real to me. Other people who read this book said that they weren't, but I really like the characters. Also the plot, it's really interesting. So the idea of the plot is that Janie is not able to control her ability, and her ability is that if people are having dreams or more often nightmares around her, that she gets sucked into them. She kind of conks out, and then she's drawn straight in, and she has to sit there and watch it happen. And if it happens again, like they dream about the same thing again, she has to keep watching it happen. And oftentimes, this is really kind of graphic. And so if you are a younger reader, maybe this book isn't for you. But if you're at least in high school and you feel like you're mature enough, then obviously I totally recommend it. So she has this ability and it's kind of causing a lot of problems in her life. Her family is not really a very good support. She just has her mother and her mother is basically an alcoholic. Um, and her friends, are they don't really know about it. Nobody really knows about it. And she's just been stuck with it as a kid. So I really like the plot. I felt drawn in. It's kind of, it's told from her perspective and she just has no control over it and she feels so lost and helpless. And you kind of feel the same way, but you're also really fascinated by it and, and kind of what it implies and seeing that side to people. And she really wants to help these people in their nightmares. Like not all of them, but the people that are good people, she wants to help them. And so she's trying to also figure that out at the same time. So that was awesome in the book. And I want to talk about one thing I like and one thing I didn't like in the book. So basically one thing I would change and one thing I would definitely keep. And I want to do that with all my book reviews. So one thing I really liked about this book the most of all was the realism. I felt that the characters felt real. Her romance feels real. It doesn't feel like it's really forced, which I feel in a lot of teen books that's a huge problem. It's like, oh, we have to have this character here and this character here. So they meet and they fall in love and it just... It doesn't seem real to me, but these characters, they felt really real, and their problems and issues didn't feel contrived. Her ability didn't feel forced. It felt like it was happening to her, and she didn't have any control. It wasn't like she's like, oh, I'm so cool, I have this ability. <laughs> so that was awesome. One thing I would change or improve upon was I would love more about her ability. I want more issues with it, more things happening, and I'm really excited for the sequel for that. The sequel is called Fade, and so that's going to be awesome. So I'm really excited for that. Uh, and talking about reviews, a lot of people actually didn't like this book, which surprised me. I really enjoyed it, so I was like, what? But um, I would give it out of five stars, five. So I'm excited, and I hope that you read it. Let me know what you think of this video. Let me know how I can prove stuff. I really, really love books. I've been reading for a long, long time and I just realized that there's a whole community of other readers out there on YouTube. So I'm excited to get into this. Thank you very much.